People see me and think they're safer. But it's not really me they're seeing. Probably for the best. Knowing everything hinges on a guy from Queens sounds as scary as it feels. <laughs> no pressure, right? <laughs> Salutations gamers, welcome back, this is your host Divergence and welcome to something brand new on my channel. This is a small little top 5 series of what I'm excited for for the end of the year for 2017 for gaming and what I'm excited for, for seeing at E3 as well so it's going to be quite exciting to break this little list down and sort of give you my wish list of things to see of the upcoming games to rate um, E3 and what I'm looking forward to most. So. One of those games is Spider-Man for PS4. So Spider-Man PS4 got announced at E3 last year and it kind of surprised everyone to be honest because I, I wasn't expecting it. I'm sure you guys weren't as to the audience reaction when it actually came out. So um, I compiled a small top 5 wish list of what I would like to see in Spider-Man uh, on PS4. So I really hope you guys stick around and let's get straight into the list. Alright guys, coming at number 5 is the web slinging. Um, I think one of the key features of any Spider-Man game is the web slinging, of course, it's Spider-Man. Um, what I want to see is not going back to the whole rail system, because we've had that too many times in too many Spider-Man games. I feel like it's a little bit of a cop out to be honest, of a mechanic if it's not attaching to buildings like it should be, like a Spider-Man game should. Um, two, only two games I can think of really managed to nail it quite um, well and that was Amazing Spider-Man 2 on Xbox 360 and Spider-Man 2 back on PS2 I believe is the only two games I can think of off the top of my head with the actual webs attached to buildings so that is one of the key features for me uh, I hope it's the same sort of thing for you guys with it just adds a bit more realism to the actual web swing and that comes in number 5 on my list. Alright, coming in at number 4 is the combat. As much as I like the combat from the previous iterations of uh, Spider-Man, it feels a little bit more a, of a copy and paste from Batman Arkham series. So I feel like they're taking too much away from that series to their own series and I feel like Spider-Man needs to be a bit more unique these days, either have the animations performed by a person or even just have it free freehand style uh, animations for impossible movesets that don't sort of mimic the Arkham franchise because I feel like each and every Spider-Man game since Arkham Asylum and the Arkham series has sort of like I said, taken from their, them the combat system and iterated it into their own. So I feel like um, if the animations for this game are a bit more freehand, I think that'll be a, a beneficial for everybody. And I, think, I hope you guys would agree with that because, man, it would be good to kick someone's ass and do some crazy acrobatics as Spider Man without being restricted to human um, limitations. For number three on the list is going to be probably the crime scene um, alert. So like in the last couple of Spider-Man games there's not been that many good ones where say there's a person being robbed down the street or there's carjacking or there's that girl saying The fifth time of hearing that then um, you probably could get pretty bored of it really quickly and probably don't end up caring that much about that person and the damn blue. <laughs> so I, I feel like there needs to be a couple of iterations of these crime alerts and the on scene seamlessly crime alerts. So like uh, maybe some saving someone from a fire, saving someone from falling off something, something like that. Just to mix it up a bit, make you care a bit more about the actual people that you're supposed to be saving. Because at the end of the day, if you don't get it right, you just say like meh. 
fine EP, EP so it's so that's comes in at number three and I hope you guys agree if you do it leave a comment in the comment below why you would like to see yourself for your number three slot coming in at number two is stealth so stealth hasn't been tackled that well for a spider-man game for a while um, the only one that came close was uh, Spider-Man Noir, I believe. I think that was by Beanox. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll correct myself in the actual text in the editing process <laughs> if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, Beanox uh, tackled it alright. But like I said, it was more of a copy and paste job from the Arkham series. So yeah, I, f I feel like... Um, Maybe if, if they took their own sort of route and maybe climb into vents and stuff, that would be pretty interesting. Like sneaking into Kingpin base or sneaking into um, some sort of warehouse of some sorts and you got to get past all these guys. I think that would be pretty good for a stealth mechanic. Like I said, as long as it's not too Arkham-ish style. Um, I just want this Spider-Man game to be great. I'm so looking forward to it. And coming in at number one, it's going to be the actual city itself. So we haven't really had a high quality city of New York to actually explore in Spider-Man yet. But Insomniac seems to be blowing out of the water with this one. So the world seems very immersive. Hopefully we not only just get a central of New York, um, the actual island of New York. We also get some of the areas surrounding it, so like Queens and stuff like that. And the yeah, outskirts of New York as well, so being able to cross the bridge, being able to cross back again, it'd be quite unique and an interesting experience for the actual Spider-Man franchise because we haven't really had a chance to explore Queens and come back again or go to, say, Liberty Island as much as we have in previous iterations. So um, that is my sort of top five wish list for Spider-Man PS4. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'm kind of getting. Um, I'm kind of new to these kind of top fives. Please forgive me if it's like I uh, felt a little bit rushed. But if you enjoyed nonetheless, please hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment below why you guys would like to see in the Spider-Man PS4. What ga games are you looking forward to being announced at E3? And uh, yeah, just let me know how your day's going on in general in the comments below. If you guys like this video, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you guys are new. And peace out tonight.